I'm sorry. I, uh, but it, the maid let me in. I hope that's okay with you. Of course. You're always welcome here. You know, I spent most of the day over at the courthouse watching Jackson defend Greenlee. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How's it going? It's a fight. He's fighting for his little girl with everything he's got, you know, and then it occurred to me that's exactly what I should be doing. He's fighting for you. You made it real clear that you don't want to help me. Not with Caleb. I won't. I can't. I think what you're doing is wrong. But I understand why you're doing it. Because you're afraid. I'm not afraid of Caleb. It's not what I mean. You're afraid of losing your family. And I can't say as I blame you. Look around you, JR. Your life is a mess. I mean, Adam's gone, Scott's in prison. And now on top of everything, Marissa wants to walk away and take AJ with her. I can't do anything about what happened between you and your father, or the decisions that Scott made, but I can sure as hell help you hang on to your little boy. bragging about testifying. I don't get it. Pearson was all about laying low. He had to be dug out of nowhere now. He, what, he's off partying? And he seemed real happy about the fact that Ryan was getting nailed. I say we go crash this little party. Back on. Do you realize what you've done? Yes, I do. Ryan sat up there and told a story. There was no story. Like, he, he never stopped loving me, like Madison, like I'm his whole world. He meant every word he said. Yep. He said too much. If they let me go, Liza will charge him. Ryan chose to do this because he believes you're not guilty. You heard him up there. What I said on, on that stand, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't expect to go there. But you did. Everyone heard it. Everyone saw it. You never stop loving her. This doesn't leave a lot of room for us. I'm so sorry. None of this matters. How I feel about Ryan, how he feels about me. If one of us ends up in prison... None of this matters. Really? He doesn't love me. He loves Madison. How do you say that after what he risked for you? Because he owes me. But he's with her and I don't blame him. Because whenever we're together, bad things happen. 
this time around, one of us might just end up in prison. I have to go. I, I swear to you, I did not expect that to happen. Maybe you got on that stand playing a role. Spinning a story, a, a love story, is part of your strategy. Anything to help Greenlee. But at some point, it became real. Everyone in that courtroom heard a man who was in love with the woman that he was talking about. I don't know what is going on here. I don't, I don't know how this happened. The last thing in the world that I would want to do is to hurt you. And I've done that, and I'm sorry. I, I kept telling myself that what Greenlee and I had was in the past. But I guess it's not. It's not. My next drink would taste even better if you joined me. <laughs> How do you want to play this? I'm going to do this one alone, but would you stick close in case I need you? Aye, aye. Well, if it isn't the hottest DA in town. How about you, drink? Well, I'm the only DA in town, and I'm only drinking if you're drinking. Line them up. All right, excuse me. Can I get a dirty martini, please, and he's having? Oh, uh, more of the same. I gotta say, I'm a little surprised to see you here. Well, you're not gonna tell Montgomery and Lavery, are you? <laughs> or that Martin guy? They'll be ticked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you can trust me. I have to be completely prepared for anything and everything that J.R. and his attorney could throw at us during the custody trial. Yeah, you got that right. I've been sitting in on Greenlee's trial, and it is hard to take. I mean, just lives are laid open. Personal matters, private things, used as ammunition. Yeah, it's crazy. is fighting for her life. I'm fighting for my son. As much as I hate it, it gets ugly. You know, is, is this what you really want? Of course not. You think I want to go to war with the man who was my husband? Who I nursed through cancer, who I thought I'd spend the rest of my life with? No. I know you don't. <laughs> A dream I got paid. Did I ever tell you that? I, 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 I never met her. I never heard her voice. And yet, there she is. Maybe it's a twin thing. Yeah, maybe it is. She has this light, this warm energy. Yeah, that was me. AJ has it too. Lose it. He could lose that light with all the fighting and the anger. So in other words, he, he could lose babe. I can't let that happen. I know that JR loves AJ, but Adam loved JR too. Yeah. And Dixie was alive. I mean, he had his mother. It's like you and I are, are the keepers of that light. I guess we are. Hey, hi. Are you getting all ready for Halloween? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you got your costume, uh, you got your bag for the candy. Oh, good, 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 good. What are you missing? Daddy. With you on my side, I will win full custody of AJ. Wait a minute, wait a minute, just a second. I'm thinking more along the lines of helping you out now, before you go parading into a courtroom with half the people you know and turn it over to somebody in a black robe to make the decision for you. How are you going to do that? Well, for starters, instead of filing papers and, 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 and injunctions, why can't you just simply prove to Marissa that you're a responsible parent that's willing to do anything he has to for his son? I don't have to prove anything, especially to Marissa. You see? There you go, right there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That look in your eye, that anger your father's anger the thing you were born with it's in your blood that tells you the minute anything goes wrong the first thing you should do is go for somebody's throat he's my son yeah he is you're his father and as his father you have made some serious mistakes so you got to prove to people that you're not going to make them again instead of pounding on your chest and screaming about being a good father Prove it. Demonstrate to Marissa that you'll do anything you have to to give AJ the kind of home that he needs, that he wants. You know that I can do that. Of course I do. But I don't want you to tell me. I want you to show me. I want you to show Marissa. 
What about Annie? She still living here? No. All right, good. That's my boy. That's what I'm talking about. That's a step forward. And I think another good step forward would be for you to just back off temporarily on this private war you've got brewing with Caleb Court. No, not a chance. JR, I've loved you from the day I could hold you in the palms of my hands, and as such, I think I got the right to ask you one question. I could never ask your father. Just don't you get sick and tired of fighting everybody for everything? If I back off, I lose, Chandler. And that's not happening. Son, you gotta get your priorities straight. My priorities? AJ is my priority. I'm fighting because it's his legacy. No. No, it's not. That's Adam talking. No, that's me talking. JR, think about it. Your entire life, your father did the same thing to you. He held Chandler Enterprises over your head. I'm not. As a stick, as a carrot, to get you to do what he wanted when he wanted you to do it. What kind of legacy is that? I'm not my father. My father dangled Chandler over my head. And when the time was right, what did he do? He gave it to Scott just to screw me over. I would never do that to AJ. I will give him this company proudly because I will know his abilities. What bigger gift could I give him? Oh, son. You got so much more to give that boy than a ridiculous company. No, I don't. I don't. But you're right, I have made mistakes. I have failed many, many times. But I will not fail again. I will save Chandler. I will save it for AJ. I have an even better idea. For his sake, instead of trying to conquer the world, prove to him that no matter what happens in it, that you'll always be there for him. That you'll be happy, you'll be grounded. That you'll always love him every bit as much as I've always loved you. things about me, and he loves me anyway. <laughs> so happy, and then one stupid moment, and it's gone. The life that I wanted to give Emma, it's over. I have ruined my daughter's life, so you tell me. You tell me how I'm going to live with that. 